Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting and also very different style video. Usually I do vlogs, but today I have a haul of a whole bunch of teacher stuff that I bought. So things just personally for myself, things for storage for my classroom, and just like some games and fun toys for the kids. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like I've been able to get everything on a pretty good deal. And in case you're trying to start up, I'm going to be a first year teacher in Florida. Let me rewind a little bit. So if you're new here, I'm Christina. I'm going to be a first year teacher in Florida. I just spent the past year teaching English abroad in Spain. So this will technically be like my first full year teaching in Florida in the US school system. So exciting. I'm going to be a kindergarten teacher. But anyway, so I have things from a couple of different stores. I'm going to start off with things that I bought from Michaels because Michaels is kind of an expensive store, I would say, for supplies, but I found all of this stuff on sale. So let's just get straight into it. I hope you guys enjoy this video, find some inspiration for your own classroom, and yeah, if you're interested to know like my experience, check out my other videos as well. Okay, so the first thing that I want to start off with are more like personal things for yourself as the teacher and that will just make your life a lot easier. So the first thing that I bought that I am so happy that I purchased is this laminator. I, think I got this on Amazon. It was like $30 and it has honestly saved my life right now, like trying to prep stuff for school. I literally just spend my days like cutting and laminating things to put on my walls, activities for centers for students. And so I definitely recommend getting one of these if you don't have one already. And also the price like really isn't that bad. I also got some laminating pouches, which again, these are also affordable. I think like you can get like 50 for like 10 bucks. I will make sure to link as much as I can of everything that I bought below so that you guys can check out some of these things as well. The next thing that I got is also like for your personal use. I decided to pick up a happy planner. These are pretty like popular, I would say on teacher Instagrams, like accounts that I follow. And I decided to pick one up because I thought it would be really helpful. The front cover actually looks like this. So if you're looking for this specific one, I just kind of changed it out because I liked this more simple design better. Basically this is made for teachers. And so I'll show you quickly on the inside, like August, for example, this is how it's laid out. So you have the days of the week and then you have a little box that you can make for each subject area, which is what I really love about this. There's also like really cute messages for teachers in it. And it has a couple of extra features that are really nice. And it just seems like pretty durable and it's humongous for all of the lesson planning that we need to do. This is going to be so <laughs> random, but I am in love with this water bottle. I got this from Target. It was like 20 bucks, which is kind of expensive, but it has a straw and like you need to stay hydrated as a teacher and it's really easy to forget to drink water during the day as a teacher. And so I feel like this is a personal necessity and I just love that it's white. It keeps everything cold. Just trust me, it's a really great investment. Okay, now that we're talking about Target, I found the cutest little rainbow pillow. How adorable is this? I think this was like $5. I just think it's so cute for like decoration to have in like a little reading corner to make it more comfortable for the kids. I also found this one that matches like the whole rainbow pastel theme at Walmart. And this one I think was like $7. Now I wanna move into more classroom storage things, okay? Most of the classroom storage stuff that I bought, I actually got from the dollar store because this stuff is expensive. I went to the dollar store and I feel like I really found some great things. First, I found these trays, which I'm thinking of labeling these and putting like papers to turn in, or just, this is great just to put papers in. So that's what I'm planning to use this for. Um, it will just help organize a lot better. And with the kids, like if I tell them, okay, make sure that you turn in your work to the pink basket. Like that's just, it's just helpful for organizing purposes. The next thing I found is I found all of these buckets. So I don't really have a clear plan as to what I'm going to use these buckets for specifically, but the great thing about these is that you can write on these with Expo marker, which is really cool, but they have a couple of different sizes. I got some of them that are like this medium size, which I'm thinking I can keep like toys in or just supplies in like glue, scissors, markers, whatever. Um, and then with these bigger buckets, I can use these to keep books. I can keep 
I mean, there's a lot of uses for this in a classroom, and I just figured that I really needed some storage pieces because in my classroom, I have nothing currently. More storage items, which again, I don't really know what I'm gonna put in these yet. Like I don't have a clear plan, but I know I'm gonna need them for something. So I decided to pick them up. I have two of them in this like clear pink color, which is really cute. It matches the theme that I'm going for. And then I also have two clear ones. So seriously, go to the dollar store and they came with lids as well. If you're looking for storage things, do not spend like $10 on one of these. Go to the dollar store and save your money, you know? The next thing that I got, which I have a plan for, I got these two, I think these are meant for like a kitchen. They have this like rubbery inside, but I'm gonna use these for my pencils. For sh I'm gonna make a little label and I'm gonna put sharp and not sharp pencils so that I kind of wanted them to lay flat so that I'll have them like this and they can just come and grab one easily. So these will be my little pencil containers. And the next thing I, that I got for storage is from Michaels. So Michaels always has sales going on and that's when I decided to pick these up. So I picked up two of these big storage bins. Now these are more for my personal use. You can also use these to keep activities for centers. You can keep activities for units in here. I picked up two of them. They were each $5. The next storage thing I got are these crates. These crates are going to be very important in my life because, well, my teaching life, because I have purchased whiteboards and like mini whiteboards and clipboards for my students, which are in the box still. And I don't want to open it until I go to my school and I need somewhere to store them. So I picked up two of these crates from Walmart and they were each $7. On the inside, they have this part, which means you can put those little folder dividers and put student work in them. Inside of here I have some fun things. The dollar store has really become my new favorite place, especially when I found all of these things I'm going to show you. I'm so excited. The first thing I found is this map to hang in my wall of the United States. What more can you ask for from the dollar store? An inflatable globe because I really wanted to also have a map of the world, but this is even better because students can come and like pick it up and visualize it more as a globe than a flat surface you know this is the part I'm most excited for even though like all of this really makes me so excited to like organize and get into my classroom which stay tuned because I think next week I will be going into my classroom for the first time and that will be very fun and I'll be able to show you guys around show you how I actually utilize all of these items that I've purchased back to the dollar store the most exciting thing now, this may seem so simple, but I'm so excited for it. So this is a dice. It's a jumbo dice and it's a foam dry erase block. You can write on these white circles anything that you want. Now, the way that I used these in Spain when I was teaching is we would write different words on there and the students would throw the dice and we'd create sentences together. So that's like the first thing that popped into my head on how to use these. You can also use these for sight words, spelling words, you could even use these in math to make up equations and I mean honestly I love them. So I got three of them and I just think it's going to be so fun and the kids are going to love it. That completes the haul from the dollar store. I bought popsicle sticks from Walmart. I think these were about three dollars. They're the jumbo popsicle sticks and I'm planning to use this because I saw on Pinterest a teacher put like little googly eyes on each popsicle stick and give them to the students to practice their spacing when they're writing. So I remember I think when I was in school we would just use our finger but I thought this would be more fun and just cute for the kids. I forgot to show you another storage thing that I got from the dollar store. Look how cute. I have these little quiet critters that I made for my classroom and the purpose of these I actually made these in another video which I will link up there it's like a vlog style video if you want to check it out so these are gonna go on the students desks whenever they need to be working quietly basically you put it on each students desk and you say like these are our quiet critters they come out when we need to be quiet and need to be focused and not talking to other people but they get scared when there's loud noises so if you're talking really loud we have to put them away so it's just a little tiny behavior management thing and I just thought it was adorable so Dollar Tree storage and this was really cheap and easy to make I told you guys that I purchased whiteboards for my classroom and clipboards for my classroom I also have these from Amazon these little mini 
dry erase erasers. I really liked these because they're magnetic. The next thing I got are these. This is a kind of like plasticky cover sheet. You can put pieces of paper in here, like for example, a worksheet. And I think this is perfect for centers. Like students can write on these with whiteboards and erasers. And I think this will be also really helpful just for the teacher desk center area so that you can be erasing and rewriting things. And so I picked up a pack of these. They come in 30. And so that will be perfect if I ever have an activity that I want all of the students to be doing. The last thing that I quickly want to mention are these books. I got these from the thrift store and I cannot recommend enough going and checking out your local thrift stores to get books because books are so expensive. I just don't recommend trying to buy brand new books to fill up your entire classroom library because you will go broke. I ended up picking up about 30 books from my local thrift store and paid $11 for them. That pretty much wraps up what I have bought for my classroom so far. And I do want to say that the district will give you some money to kind of help buy supplies for your classroom, but it's not enough. It just simply is not enough, especially if you're a first year teacher and you have zero supplies, like zero of anything. It just is not enough. And so that's definitely something to keep in mind. You might be at the beginning spending some money out of your own pocket. I mean, it is what it is. We chose this profession because we love the kids, not because we're getting paid a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you did, it really supports me. And check out my other vlogs if you haven't seen them yet. And I'm so excited to start this whole journey and share everything about my teaching experience with you guys. So look forward to so soon the videos coming of decorating my classroom, classroom setup stuff, first week of kindergarten, first day of kindergarten. It's going to be really exciting. I will see you guys in my next video and that's it. Bye!